as far as watering and fertilizing, cactus like acid water. Okay. Uh, usually the water from the tap, it's between seven to eight, eight uh, in the uh, HP meter. Mm -hmm. The pH level? The pH level, yeah. And uh, you want to water your plants with your cactus with somewhere in the six. Somehow, when they receive the, the when they're in, in the acidic medium, they process better the nutrients, the nitrogen. Okay. They, they so, process it a little so bit better. This is the water that comes from the tap. You can see it's seven, between seven and eight, almost eight. Um, what you wanna do is to lower the pH to get a little bit more acidic. So if you, this is the, the water from the tap, but if we go here to one of our houses, this one is the one we use for watering. And this should be more towards the... This should be somewhere around six. Six point three. So this, um, you already diluted it with... Um... This one has fertilizer and has some... Uh, ingredients to lower the the pH. Um, so your goal is somewhere in the six. In the six. Six. That, that's the range. The, goal, the six range, and uh, you can you can get that using vinegar, uh, citric acid, even battery acid can work. Really? <laughs> yeah. You just have to be careful. Okay. And, uh, you don't want to use any acid for pools because that contains chlorine and you don't want that but um i would say uh for a general household vinegar it's a good yeah, for 100 gallons i use 50 ounces so it's like half ounce per gallon of vinegar of vinegar yeah ammonium sulfate also so Ammonium, hot, right? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> and that yeah, helps in the acidity, water acidity. Yeah, that that helps a lot, and that that helps a lot for to induce the plants for blooming, also. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Do you use any, um, or do you recommend any fertilizer? On. You know, it's. Because I know some don't fertilize at all. And yeah, some they, they the do. Cactus don't need a lot, but uh, again, the, with so many different varieties, it's hard to generalize. But if you want to make like a general rule, I will say any commercial fertilizer diluted at a third of the dosage will do the job. And um, yeah, maybe. Is that true for cactus and succulent fertilizer? Cactus, yeah. Again, you still recommend to dilute it? Yeah, no, dilute it for a third. If you, yeah, it, there are two different ways of fertilizing. It can be every water you can add fertilizer, mm -hmm. or you can skip few f waters and then add some fertilizer. The more you you water the plants with fertilizer, you have to dilute it the most. So in general, I will say a third of the recommended dosage, dosage on the label. Okay. Every time you water your plants. Every time you water. Mm -hmm. And of course, winter plants are not growing. The plants that are winter dormant, they they don't need that much nutrients because they're just sleeping. So maybe you, you know, if if your plants is going to sleep during uh, winter, you don't need that a lot so. right oh how do you um take care speaking of bugs how do you take care of pests in yeah, here it's pretty challenging we're having so many species mm -hmm. it's hard to keep them we're, we're trying to spray as less as we can some of sometimes they're a little uh, scales is one of the biggest issues here uh, so what we do is uh, we use neem oil 
those are really effective for scales. Neem oil, yeah. And sometimes uh, insecticidal soap. Those are pretty mm -hmm. organic, uh, easy to to spray. You gotta be careful with the oils, like for the echeverias, for example, if you spray them with oils, they get all uh, spots. So they, they leave a mark on the they leaves. Leave marks. So oh. you have to be careful which plants you want to use mm -hmm. oil, which ones. And we try to avoid uh, systemic pesticides or other worse. So these are. We're waiting to get some. Oh, you seeds. got seed pods. What kind yeah. of euphorbia is this? Euphorbia one? polygona. Polygona? Yeah. Uh -huh. And what we do here, we, we put a little bit of glue to keep them there until they get dry because otherwise. What? They, glue? Hold yeah, on. Just like a little Elmer's glue. So On the seed them. pod? Yeah, around it so they don't fall. When they, Sometimes when they open, they just... Fall. Right, because what I do is I put like a little net or mesh on yeah. top of it. So what you do is you put glue? Well, sometimes we put that mesh also, wow. but we don't have them here. That's the other the seedling house. Right. So when, yeah. when do you put the glue like... Like we did this like a couple of weeks ago just to keep the plant the the, the, the seed pot in in place. Mm -hmm. So because when they get dry, uh -huh. they they open and they they fall apart. So this would keep them together. I see, but uh, it won't stop it from like developing. No, no, no. Oh it's wow! Pretty. So when it cracks open. Somehow they stay together in there. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Is that but what, we, we just still need to keep to an happen. eye. Yeah. And so every day we come here and see how they, they're going. Ooh, I, I should do that trick. Put glue. Yeah. That's something new I learned. <laughs> uh, do you have any plans of opening up your nursery in the future for public? Yeah, we have been considering that. It's once in a while, they they contact us and they ask if they can come in, and well, we cannot say no, right? <laughs> but uh -huh. uh, sometimes we don't have the the whole infrastructure for a lot of people to come here. But uh, sometimes they show up here in the door, and we, we really they ask. do. Yeah, because they, <laughs> and then they feel so bad that they cannot come in, and we just open the doors, and there everybody's welcome here. We try. To keep everything online because that's the way we have everything set up as your business model the business model so when somebody comes here it takes a little it's a little bit yeah. more complicated but yeah we're, we're trying to to, yeah. to share because with everyone. i could say your specimens that i see here they're you know not common a lot of mm -hmm. them are not common that we find in like big box stores or even local nurseries in our places so yeah no Chuck, we, we're trying to this would be a very good destination mm. you know <laughs> yeah exactly yeah uh, we, we're planning to do it i don't know exactly when but once we uh, keep up with all the other daily right. tasks mm -hmm. All right, here is it, Lali, hard at work. So this is their packaging area, shipping area here in Planet Desert. Do you have like employees here as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, we, we have a whole break in there. there. Mm -hmm. We have a, someone who takes care of the production. We have someone who takes care of the orders, customer service. So more or less, how many employees do you have? Like six or seven. Six or seven, yeah. wow. Wow. Depending on the season. Sometimes they're temporary workers that come from health. Yeah. Plus all of us, right? Like yeah. we can see Clally and my two daughters. <laughs> so okay. like 10 maybe. What days do you sh do your shipments? Every day. You well, do every Monday to Friday, yeah. Monday to Friday you do the shipments? I see. Yeah, we did before less days, but the Again, we want the client to be happy. You know, you purchase something, you want it soon, right? You want to see it soon. So yeah, we we should the next day yeah. after. Sometimes the same day. Sometimes the same day. If it's, it's a very hard Monday, and we have too many orders. An order might leave the next day or something like that. But yeah, we try to ship immediately. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So, Sit Lali, what is a normal day for you here in the nursery? Yeah. <laughs> like when you wake up in the morning, what's your routine? Yeah, well, I, I just started working out at 6 in the morning. So, I wake up around uh, before 5, I have to do all the invoices. Wow, <laughs> that's an invoices early the start labels. for your day. Uh -huh. So, they're ready here for when the ladies get here. They get here at 7 in the morning. Mm -hmm. So, the invoices are printed and um, the shipping labels are printed. They start grabbing uh, orders, picking the plans for each order. They bring them over there to, uh, to the shipping department and start packing. Uh, uh, I don't do the customer service the any, anymore, uh, sometimes a little bit like because uh, six, uh, we have someone six, helping yeah. us out with that now. So I have a little bit more free time in my hands. And what I try to do all day long is um, do the social media aspect, and but at the same time learning about it because I'm not an expert yet. Right. Uh, so, but that's basically it and um, Mark at the same time is also doing all all the online stuff and um, building the second greenhouse, the third greenhouse now. Um, that's why he told me your uh, that's your third yeah, greenhouse. Well, yeah, one, two. This is these are two, and that's the third one. Yeah. So the first greenhouse is in the other property. Well, that's somebody else who is uh, working with us. Yeah. Okay, uh -huh. and then this is the second. Yeah. And then you're planning on building a third one. Yes. Wow. Good. Oh, Good for yeah, you. you. Good yeah. for you. <laughs> yeah. The day. It's, it's busy, um, but then again, um, we're not much in here, right? <laughs> a lot of work. Uh, I was asking her, what is your normal routine, like daily? What do you do at this when you wake up? How about you, Mark? I think you're more involved on the Actually, the planting. Routine, right? I mean, oh, while you're together now, good. okay. <laughs> Sometimes we, we, we wish we had a stronger routine everything shows up something happens and we'll have to fix up the water pipe or <laughs> we'll be busy doing yeah, okay. the morning is, is different he was more into the customer service and social media and i am right now i'm trying to develop more new varieties and new product as my focus and expand the business yes and to do that we are always figuring out how to make this more efficient and a way to to get more uh, a better a better solution for customers that's and in, in if you want to ask me in like in the big picture what do i try to do is that but every day when you wake up there's so many other things that are always in front of you <laughs> but, um, but you yes. know, it's, it's it's fun. Every day is different. Yeah, yeah it's different not boring. Story. <laughs> I'm, I bet. <laughs>
because we do have some good species over here <laughs> yes and you also um sell amendments like uh soil oh yeah we sell so soil and rocks and pots and we have gift boxes too if you want to do for like mother's day or valentine's day or something we set up a little gift arrangement with little pots and a little succulent or cactus and it's like a little arrangement all together if you want to get a present for someone it's a perfect idea all right <laughs> thank you anna so um would you like to say some final words like invite them to um visit your website it's planetdesert.com right yeah, absolutely planetdesert.com you guys are welcome to explore you have uh we're trying to do our best over there we try to have as many varieties as we can and we're always here to solve any problems that arise right in shipping or we want our customers to be happy so we're here to help out with anything that's necessary <laughs> where else can they find you aside from your website uh actually that's the, I, well we're, we're selling so, ebay also ebay and etsy right ebay etsy, we have a store in etsy also um and then you have a facebook um well we have a facebook well. and an instagram account uh, planet desert and mm -hmm. Yeah, follow us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, <laughs> Mark you, and Sit Lally. It's been, um, I feel so privileged for yeah. you to allow me to enter your nursery. This is a dream for me. Like <laughs> I've said, I've been ordering you for from you for years and everything that I've ordered, I love of all of them. That's great. So thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah.